God bless you. God bless you. Well, I'm excited again. I'm excited again. Let's give the Lord a clap offering. If I could get five people, just five people out there that's watching this to say, Lord, I thank you that I'm here. I thank you that I don't have the COVID. I thank you that my husband and my wife is good. I thank you that my children is in there real nice and fluffy. I thank you for this little apartment. I thank you for this little house. I thank you for that piece of car outside. I thank you for the food in the refrigerator. I thank you for my check I got today. I know it's not what I want. But it's a good check. Lord, I thank you. Isn't that a good clap offer? Let's give the Lord a clap offer right now. Hey, listen, I want to jump into something really quick. And we're going to talk about food. And I know if you haven't ate, you're probably going to get hungry. I'm going to name off some food here uh, going into the scripture. And i give you a scripture in a minute. Uh, but I want to name off some food. And when I name it off, if the, one of the foods that I name uh, touch your, uh, your taste buds, you just lock it in. Okay? Well, let's, let's go with shrimp. Uh, uh, macaroni and cheese, homemade, uh, peach cobbler, uh, uh, banana pudding, neck bones, ribs, chicken, Popeye's chicken, Kentucky Fried Chicken, my God, uh, big juicy hamburgers from McDonald's, Burger King, my God, they should pay me some, I'm giving them a little commercial. Uh, so you got all that, did anything stick that you like? Maybe it was the banana pudding. When did you taste that? Did, when your mom and dad gave it to you? They, they shoved it in your mouth as a little baby when you could start eating and you you, you taste it and you, you liked it and it went in your senses. I, we got to go deep. I, if you're not going to get this message, you're going to have to go deep with me here. Now, you got that locked in what you like. You're all the food that you like. My God, shrimp and, and pizza. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, 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 the big hamburgers. All of that stuff. You got it locked in. Well, you had to see that and somebody had to give it to you for you to taste it. Now, you know, when you go to a smorgasbord, you, you look at all the food there. And sometimes you look at it and say, I don't like that. That don't look good. I don't, I don't like that. And I noticed that there's a lot of food that don't look good that I eat, like turkey butts and, and, and pig feet and come on, somebody, and neck bones. You know, some of that food don't look good. Uh, 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 my God, uh, it's a lot of stuff you can look eat it, and look at it and, and, and say, you know what, I, I don't, I don't want to eat that. That that look nasty. But this scripture we're going to go to here now, let's go to Psalms 34 and 8. This is good. This is good. Psalms 34, 34 and 8. Let me read that in your hearing. It said, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good and blessed is the man that trusts in him. My God, listen, with this scripture, you got to understand, I don't have a long time, but I want to get this word to you as a Friday night word. It's something to take you to the club and make you understand that God is with you and God got you. It don't matter what you're doing tonight. For the seasoned saint, look, he said, Dave, well, Ed, Ed, let me set this up. Uh, David was going through something. He was in a cave. He was writing music, writing songs. His boys was on the guitars, my God. And his boys was uh, on the drums and they was making beats, my God. And, and David just all of a sudden, he said, oh. Oh, taste and see, my God, how good the Lord is. He See, in this scripture, he said, you have to taste the Lord. See, we form opinion about thing, food, how it look. All food don't look good, but it tastes good. So you have to understand in this scripture, he's saying, oh, taste and see. And he said, you have to taste it first so you can see it. See, a lot of times we give opinions about God. We give opinions about Jesus Christ. Oh, and why did he do this? And he's so loving. Why did this happen? You know what I mean? But if you haven't tasted him, if you haven't searched him out, if you haven't went on scripture, if you haven't been reading that Bible, if you haven't been doing anything far to get closer to God, you haven't not tasted. See, if I never had a grape and I held some grapes up here, a whole bunch of grapes, I would look at it and say, hmm, a little funny round thing. With a stick through it. It don't look that good. I can lay that around on me. I can hug them grapes. But if I don't taste it. And this is what David has said. Oh taste and see. Oh my God. You may say it's bad. But I remember when he got me off of drugs. I remember when I was a hot mess. I remember when I was a liar and manipulator. I remember when I was a busybody. But oh taste and see how good God is. He will change your life. I'm telling you, God will change your life. So in this scripture, it's talking about you have to taste it, not just see it. You, and this is what's happening to our church. Here we go. This is what's happening to our church. We're coming to be audience 
You, the pastors is up there. We're going to entertain y'all for a little bit. That's all you'll get. And say, I went to church. That's not enough. He wants you to taste him. He wants you to search him out. Put it in your mouth. The Bible said that his word go in your mouth sweet. Mmm, sweet. But it goes down bitter when he said, love thy neighbor. Love those one that despite or use you. My God, be nice to your neighbor. Uh, give a person your, your, your best. He, he, and, and this is the stuff that goes down bitter because we don't want to do that. But in this scripture, oh, taste and see. You cannot see it and, and, and taste it. You have to taste it to see it. You know what that makes sense? You have to get into God. You have to study him. You have to, I'm not talking about crazy studying, just have faith, like it says in the scripture. Look at what it says in the scripture. It says, oh, taste and see. It didn't say see and taste. It said, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. Listen, you don't have to be no uh, no, uh, no honor uh, student. You don't have to have no degrees. You don't have to have no diplomas. You don't have to have nothing. You don't have to be the smartest. Matter of fact, you could be the lowest, smartest in the, in, in the world. But, but you need to have a relationship with the Lord. And if you have that with the Lord, he'll take you on high. Isn't that good news? That's a good word. Well, God bless you. You guys be great out there this weekend. Be safe. Be careful. Love on someone. Remember, if you see a problem, fix a problem. God bless you all. Wear your mask so we can get this over with.